up y'all welcome back to another one i have been holding out on you guys i've been so excited to show you this new timber hole oh my goodness probably one of the most exciting uh new lease and properties that i have acquired here uh this year i know a lot of you subscribers and viewers that that have been here along uh the way with me through hunting you know that this year with the guide service we're leasing up a bunch of new stuff and this one in particular guys duck heaven we finally got a duck hole a legit duck hole so we're on our way let's go check it out we're here and before we get going we got two things to do uh like i said we gotta put some corn down replace some batteries on the camera and i'm getting ready to surprise gerald with something amazing you gotta wait just a minute it's gonna be unreal when i tell gerald this he's gonna flip out and you all have to hit the thumbs up button please guys help me get this video to 3k i would greatly appreciate it you gotta wait it's unreal news uh but before we get into it guys bucks it's a thing now it's available if you guys want to pick up any bucks gear a lot of new merchandise over there i will link it at the top of the description down below what's going on what are you doing i'm here to play in the mud <laughs> with out boots on oh yeah i brought boots for you oh yeah i got batteries we got to show them the timber hole we got to put some some corn down but there's there's a reason why we're here that you don't know about oh uh-huh hold on let me turn my truck off it's loud Come on. Guess guess why the other reason why we might be here. Shoot raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got a we do have we a, have a raccoon problem. We have a blonde one. There's a blonde raccoon. It's completely white. Well, Lucistic. It I don't know what it is. It's not dark and it has no rings on its tail. Really? He's cool looking. I'll be dead. You need a hat. You need a hat? A <laughs> raccoon hat? Yeah. That'd be sweet. We have to, uh, we got to go pick it, pick, pick out a spot to put a pit blind in the field. No way. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I, just, I know exactly where I want it. So <laughs> there's stipulations. Number one, I asked about putting it in the middle of the field. He asked about putting it on the tree row. I'm like, no, the whole reason of a pit blind is to get it out in the middle of the field. The canal. He said we can put it up on the edge of the canal. Like not in it up on the edge just oh, so the stoked. farmer he don't plant the canal he can just go around it. he don't have to waste anything going around our exactly. stuff exactly <laughs> give me a pound dog don't leave me hanging that's awesome yeah well we are in, ooh, that's wet she's better Muddy. not going that we're in the canal and the owner of the property that i lease from here he said bob as long as you put it anywhere up against this canal he said, I won't mind at all. And this canal runs north to south through the entire field. Right smack dab in the middle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you think, dude, you're not really down. I thought we'd be down in a hole a little more, but it really ain't bad. No, it ain't that bad. Just got to figure out where we want it. All right, this is the spot. So, believe you me, yes, when we put a pit blind in here and we're, it's happening, 110%, y'all will see it go down. What's great, we have standing crop. And the one thing I don't want to do is damage a bunch of his crops. We can take this canal all the way down with all the implements, tractor, truck, trailer, everything. And he said, as long as I stayed up against, almost up against, so like right where you're standing. Yep. Run it this way, like north to south. Yeah, we'll do side shoots. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Hopefully this gets water in it too, that'd be. Oh dude yeah well my first deal when he was like can you put it in the canal i'm like well how much does that canal hold well, he was like it'll hold water and i'm like well then the pit blind's gonna be flooded out well that could be an issue just because it can pick up the entire blind uh, it yeah, can push it out it. and pop it out of the ground yep but here we are this is uh on the last video when you seen the new lease video this is where all the honkers were so i think it'll work all right come on dude come on well, before I have to put my waders off and start sweating my you-know-what off, here we are. We're at the camera. Old G-Wagon brought some batteries. Oh, yeah, they really mowed it down. Look at that. Well, well, five days ago, I came and dropped another 100 pounds. 
Oh, really? The Coons is no joke, though. Five days ago, 100 pounds. Yeah. But, uh, <sighs> yeah. When I took mom and Morgan to Tulsa, well, that one night I got a picture, there's 31 Coons right here. Oh, my goodness. So. Major issue. But the deer found it. Lots of does and fawns, which is kind of what I expected this time of year. Yeah. There's been one night where two younger eight points came in, and then we have a a real bad picture of a, a bigger deer in the back. All you get is a side profile of him, mm -hmm. so you don't really know. You can just tell he's significantly larger I'm than the other ones. I'm showing it as you're talking about oh, okay. And, uh, but that was just one night, so I'm assuming that was just a random night where they ventured from the neighboring property or something, and which is good. They're around. Yeah. But, uh, basically it seems like every morning the deer bed over here as you can see it is thick yeah thick it's thick. thick this is uh right where the pile is though how far back 20 20 yards someone in there it sounds like it i feel like someone's riding along this tree though it's on the other side is that a quad yeah see that's what we were afraid of earlier it's probably some 12 year old zipping around back here. yeah there's the house <laughs> just over there but could be the farmer checking stuff too. Could be. All right, I'm gonna put on my waders. We're gonna throw out some corn. No worry, Fred. No worry, man. It's coming. Look at him. He's hating it. What, air conditioning. Yeah, he's wanting some AC. He's wanting some 2021 fall waterfowl actions. What he's after. And what? Oh, we're leaving. Two days. Yeah. Two days. It's gonna be a long two days. Here we are. This is the timber hole y'all and I know there's gonna be a lot of y'all that comment and go That's not a timber hole true timber holes are in Arkansas and all this. This stuff. is a true Kansas timber Eggs hole. that's you read my mind There's a duck right there duck just got out of it. Yeah, it's the bullfrogs. Ooh, we need to come frogging No It's too hot last time I was here <laughs> I was filming it and the footage didn't work out. All my audio went to crap. I had to delete a bunch of scenes. That's why you're seeing it again. Last time I was here, freaking snake went. Bloop. Oh yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have it. I went. Oh no. So you got your snake snake kickers. Yep, on? I got. The, I'm wearing the, the waders. We're gonna get out here. I want to see what the bottom's like. I want to see how deep it is, but I don't want to fall and smoke my camera. Man, this is. A lot deeper than I thought, to be honest. Bad thing is there's a lot of brush around the edges. I thought... Which side do you think we should hunt? This side. This side that we're standing on? Yeah. North wind? Yep. You think over... I don't... It's small enough that I don't think the wind's going to matter where we are. You just don't want to look into the sun? Yeah. So you think that corner over there? I let's go try that. It's a little... Let's go try that corner. Oh my god everything right through here yeah i'll take the chainsaw we'll cut all this down pull it back for a blind yep yeah and I that'll open right. up another 10 yards in this too yeah it's a lot bigger than i thought it is bigger and the other ones which if we get water are just as big and they go another quarter mile oh my goodness we just need some rain guys yeah we need uh we need y'all to start doing the rain dance for us at home but this is awesome. I'm glad this one ain't dry. I'm gonna walk out here and give her a give her a looky. Give her a look over. Like I said, hopefully we don't have any bad casualties as far as falling down or something crazy or seeing a nasty snake. Come on, Fred here. Come on. Oh, this is nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thigh high. Hard bottom. Really hard bottom. Yeah, look at this. Oh, oh, look, Fred already loves it. Uh-huh. Check this hole out. It's right at, if I had to put a tape measure on it, it's like it gets pretty deep over there. It's dammed up. This is, this is where we put the blind, like Gerald was saying. Put the spread way out here in the middle. They're going to have to get down in these trees. Dude, thigh deep, hard bottom. Did you go all the way out yet? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm. it hasn't changed at all. It is nice. Look at this. Yeah, oh yeah. It's real nice. Consistent all the way through. 
<laughs> Perfect height for mojos, baby. Oh my. Fred likes it. Hey, walk around that side. This is kind of a dam. Did you look at that? Oh, that's another one on that other side. Woo! Like Gerald seen when we walked up, there was already a wood duck on it. This is amazing, man. Got a little bit of duck food. Mm hmm I know. You guys are probably thinking what I'm thinking. I'm probably gonna read your mind here. A place like this, you'd like to plant millet and stuff, but like I said, we're talking timber. There's, it's chalked around the entire edge with trees there's nowhere to plant really any millet unless it dried up on you darn near it you know but this is nice this is uh way better than i than i expected what do you think dude huh you like it i bet the water feels good don't it buddy come on let's go yeah here's the dam that splits this pond from the other one Oh yeah, it's a, it's a nice entrance. It gets shallow. You can walk across the entire thing. A little soupy on the edge. Oh, look at that. You're right. It goes like that for another the rest of the property. Holy cow. And then it opens up again like this. 200 yards from here. But it's, it's like this. It's just... You imagine putting a little floodgate here to manage that far one that's actually bigger? You know? Oof. We got ideas. It'd be cool to get some ducks in this little stuff. Oh, dude. This is perfect though. I think this, uh, so uh, that's what I was gonna say. A lot of you guys, all my clients, all of our clients that have booked, all of y'all got a chance of hunting this beauty. I know they're huge tadpoles. This is why we've been working our butts off trying to lease everything is for our clients, man. We wanna, I wanna provide more duck hunting. G wants to provide more duck hunting. It's funner. It's easier. It, it's funner. <laughs> it's easier. The clients, they want ducks more than geese. Well, until they get them a bit big old freaking lesser mob and then right. they forget all about ducks. But it'd be nice just to mix in one, at least one duck hunt every three days. Oh, that'd when, be a dream. Yeah. We got the geese situation figured out, but the ducks, this is uh, what it takes. Little farm ponds, little holes like this. Come on, Fred, let's go. All right. Back to where we're going to put the blind. Right here on the edge, get rid of all these trees. You're thinking like T-posts and permanent deal? I don't even think, with all these trees and everything, I don't think we'll need anything. It's like chainsaw. Chainsaw, stack it all up. I mean, there's so much brush around the pond we can yeah. clean up. Just make it look really natural. It'll look like a freaking beaver dam. <laughs> yeah, it will. All right, come on guys. There's the dog. That's what waders will do to you in literally in two seconds on a summer day oh. Uh. come on man come on go come on go man go pee or something horrible it's a hundred degrees feels horrible out absolutely horrible i really hope in a couple days north dakota's any type of cooler than this oh i've been chilling in the ac in the truck I about ate a whole pizza by myself already no 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 you ain't getting any man no 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 oh well you know where we're at i don't even have to tell you come on buddy i better turn on the ac in this bad boy oh what a great day great day really hot that's the only sucky thing about today it's just the heat but you know what the day was so good i can't even complain about the heat i can't believe uh the owner not the farmer the owner of that ground of my lease gave me permission to put a pit blind on it now i wanted to talk about that just for a little bit here uh because i know there's going to be a lot of questions about it number one I have to have a certain size of pit blind. And you guys have been with me on a lot of videos uh, hunting different various styles, types, brands, new and old pit blinds, right? What I'm getting at is I need a 10 man, a minimum 10 man blind. And old P Diddy, 
He already found us one. Check this one out right here. This is a brand new, as of last year, purchase, never put in the dirt, not one time, 24 foot, 10 man pit blind. It's got a lot of room in it. Oh yeah, underground, heaters, chairs, breakfast, yes. So my dream, one of my, one of my dreams, biggest dream, number one, start getting some leases, uh, other than the lodge dream, my, my dreams, <laughs> Start getting good leases. And number two, be able to provide pit blind hunts. Goose pit blind hunts. Lesser, lesser goose, right? Lesser Canada geese pit blind hunts. Really nobody does. There's a few uh, here and there, but that's my dream. And it might happen. It might happen. What I'm getting at and why I'm blabbing so much don't ever take your eyes off your dream. Don't ever tell yourself no. And darn sure never, ever, ever doubt yourself. You know what? If you doubt yourself and, and something doesn't happen, it's your own fault. It's nobody else's. Don't doubt yourself. Believe in yourself. Make the phone call, even though you're like, man, what if he says no? Well, that's the worst he can do is say no. Be respectful. If you have utmost respect for landowners farmers your wife your friends your family if you have utmost respect and treat them like that man a lot of things are going to go in your favor but it comes with confidence be confident in yourself guys don't uh, don't doubt yourself no one's better than you and really nobody's and you're not better than anybody you know what i mean be confident in yourself you can do it whatever you guys want to do put your freaking mind to it and get it done that's what i did i never i never dreamed that this would actually happen here we are guys it's never too late being 40 45 50 60 65 you're not too old go after your dream man you only live once that's all we know get it while you can enjoy your life while you can you only got one shot at it don't waste your time my spill's over. I'm having a good day. Just got permission on a bomb pigeon feed. <sighs> what a great day. I really appreciate you guys being here. Like always, if it wasn't for you guys, my dreams wouldn't happen. But if I hadn't have went after them, you guys wouldn't be here. See what I mean? Uh, we're heading to North Dakota for you guys. We might, we might already be there. I don't know exactly when this video will go up. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the North Dakota honker hunting action, me and the boys, P Diddy, G Wagon, all of us, follow me on Instagram right here. Uh, I'm going to be posting a bunch of stuff on the story, the hunts, the pile picks, you name it. Hunting season's back. Uh-huh. And our dude is going with us. Uh-huh. I've had a lot of you guys uh, DM me on Instagram and ask, hey, is Freddie going? He's going. But like I said at the beginning, bucks uh-huh if you want to pick something up from bucks i will link it down at the top of the description down below look at that beauty old whitetail doing his thing mm -hmm. it's a new thing y'all my deer hunters out there pick you something up link down below thank you all for being here but until next time we have to uh we got to go pick it pick pick out a spot to put a pit blind in the field no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I, just, I know exactly where I want it. So <laughs> there's still